Hey everyone, Vibor from Zencoder here and I wanted to share some important information about recent changes in the VS Code ecosystem that might affect your development workflow. So as you may have heard, Microsoft has started enforcing licensing restrictions on several of their VS Code extensions and I wanted to clarify what's happening and how Zencoder fits into this situation. So here's what's happening. For a long time, Microsoft has had the language in their extension licenses stating that certain extensions can only be used within official Microsoft products like VS Code and Visual Studio. Recently, however, they started actively uh, enforcing those restrictions, meaning that if you are using a VS Code fork or an alternative editor like Cursor or Witzer, for example, you might start seeing messages looking like this. Now, these restrictions affect several important Microsoft uh, tools, including extensions for C and C++, uh, IntelliCode, C Sharp tools, VSL integration, and several others. Again, this isn't something new in the terms. It's simply an enforcement of existing license conditions, but genuinely not something that's been happening before. So if you're using original VS Code from Microsoft, nothing really changes for you. So all the extensions will continue to work as before. However, if you're using a VS Code fork or an alternative editor and using those Microsoft extensions, you may suddenly find yourself without support for critical tools in languages like C++ or C Sharp. So understandably, developers are concerned about this and you know, it affects and it disrupts their established workflows and might require finding alternatives or even switching tools. So this is where I want to be clear about Zencoder's position in this ecosystem. We are built as a proper VS Code extension, uh, working within the original VS Code environment. This means that Zencoder users don't face these compatibility issues. You can continue using all Microsoft extensions um, along Zencoder's code gen capabilities without any interruptions. And we designed Zencoder this way intentionally, complementing VS Code and JetBrains IDEs rather than just replacing them. Um, the idea was to ensure best compatibility for developers and you know, general user experience. So our approach is simple. Uh, we integrate with your existing setup rather than asking you to replace it. So if you're currently using a VS Code fork or one of the alternative editors and finding yourself um, affected by these restrictions, I get you. Uh, we understand your frustration. And Zencoder does offer a path to keep your existing VS Code setup with all Microsoft extensions while adding powerful, as I said, AI-assisted code gen capabilities. And we want to support that community through these uh, ecosystem changes. So if you have any questions about Zencoder compatibility or need help with your setup, reach out to us either through our website or through some of our community channels on Discord and Slack. Thank you for watching and happy coding.